Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Now since version 0 0.90, there's been tons of cool features uh, that have come out with Home Assistant. Not too long ago, I did a video on remote UI and how you could basically access uh, your Home Assistant remotely with uh, without having to set up an SSL cert or anything like that because uh, you can use the uh, Home Assistant cloud to access it. Another cool feature that came out with 0 0.90 was the ability to stream cameras to other devices, specifically like Chromecast or Apple TVs. It's a super cool feature um, that you can use with automations and uh, stuff like that for, you know, if motion is detected, it'll display a camera and stuff like that. So very cool, very cool feature. So now that it's been out for a few revisions, I thought I would do a video on it and kind of show you how it works. So obviously for this to work properly, you need to have cameras set up in Home Assistant. Not all the cameras currently work with this streaming feature. For sure, I know that the generic IP cameras work uh, just using uh, like a RTSP stream. I'm pretty sure there are some other cameras that do work with this feature, um, but if you have the ability to set up your camera uh, through an RTSP stream uh, using the generic camera component, then that's definitely the way to do it. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're gonna cover in this video. So of course we'll start by kind of going over just a couple of the prerequisites. Uh, once we've done that, then we will uh, test out the ability to use the camera stream uh, just from the web interface using the developer tools. Once you confirm that it does actually work, uh, then we're gonna create a test script that we can then use of course with automations or whatever else, just to kind of show you uh, again how it will work with an automation in home assistant and then of course lastly uh, we'll test out our test script and uh, see how it works so let's get started all right so there are a few prerequisites for this to work properly uh, one of course is you have to be on 0 0.90 or later the second, you need to add a line in your configuration that says stream, as you can see here. And then, like I said, lastly, you need to have cameras defined in Home Assistant, ones that will work with the uh, new stream feature. Like I said, generic for sure works. Uh, this is how I have mine set up with the uh, RTSP stream source. I just have uh, generic kick vision cameras. Uh, using with an LA view DVR. So of course they're all set up this way. Once you have the prerequisites in place, then we are ready to move on to the next step. All right, so an easy way to test to see if this works, uh, like with your Chromecast or your Apple TV or whatever media player you want to uh, display this on is to use the developer tools. So from here under service, we're gonna say uh, camera.play underscore stream. For the entity, this will be the camera that we want to display. Uh, so for me, I'm just gonna say my uh, front door camera. So we'll say camera.front underscore door. And as you start typing, you know, it should populate a drop down list where you can select it. And the last thing you need to add is you need to add a part that says media player. This will be the device that you're going to stream to. So mine is going to be media underscore player dot living room underscore ATV because that is my Apple TV. And we'll bring the TV up down here so you can just see it in action as it happens. But we'll say uh, call service. And bam, you can see it almost immediately populate on the television. Very cool. Very cool. So we know it works with my Apple TV. So now let's uh, move on to the next step and create a test script. All 
All right, so uh, in my test scripts.yaml file here, I'm just going to find an open spot down here at the bottom. I'm just going to create a script. We'll call it test underscore camera underscore stream. Alias will have the same name. The service is just like in the developer tools. It's going to be camera.play underscore stream. Then under uh, data, we'll have uh, two entries. The one is the entity ID. That is the camera that we want to uh, display. So again, I'm just going to put camera.front underscore door. And then uh, for the uh, second entry will be media player. This is the device that we are going to stream the camera to. So again, we'll put my living room Apple TV in here. Uh, once we have all that in there, then we can... Uh, jump over to the web interface and reload scripts. So we'll go under general here. I'm just gonna check the config to make sure it doesn't complain about anything and then hit reload scripts. Once we've done that, then we will just add the entry into my uh, web interface for me to be able to play around with it. So we'll uh, configure UI. Then I'm just gonna edit the existing um, entity card that I have here and we'll find us an open spot down here and add in the newly created test camera stream script. Once we have that in there, we are ready to move over to the last step. All right, so let's just test this out in action. So we'll put my living room TV down here in the corner again. We're gonna hit the uh, test camera stream button and see how it works. Like I said, bam, it is almost instant. I mean, I am amazed at how responsive it is at being able to display the camera. I'm also gonna go ahead and let's see, we'll get some something playing on the TV here um, on Netflix or something just so that I can show you how it works while you're watching a show. So as you can see here, uh, you know we got a show playing. Going to hit the test camera stream uh, script again, and again, almost immediate displays the camera. All you have to do in order for this to go back to the TV is you just hit the back button or menu on your Apple Remote, and it immediately goes back to whatever you were watching and continues playing right where it left off. That's it, guys. Pretty cool feature. Like I said, this is great for automations and stuff, uh, for motion detection and whatnot. You know, if you want to be able to display your cameras uh, and then somebody happens to come to your house or to your door or something, then you can uh, certainly display the camera while you're watching TV or whatever uh, on your Apple TV or Chromecast. And I'm sure there's some other devices that it works with as well. I have not tested it on like a Fire, Fire TV or anything like that, but uh, I have a feeling that it should work. Uh, if not currently, I'm sure it will soon as they continue to make updates on this. So super cool feature. Let me know uh, if you have any problems with that or uh, if you have any other uh, things you want to add to that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, we started out by just kind of going over the prerequisites. Uh, just to, you know, tell you everything that you needed to do to get this working. Uh, then we, of course, tested our uh, camera stream with the developer tools from the web interface. Uh, once we verified that that worked, then we uh, created our own test script uh, to use for automations and whatnot. And then, of course, lastly, I just kind of showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.